There are about 18 million children under the age of five in the U.S. who still don't have access to a COVID-19 vaccine. And that's why families are watching the CDC very closely right now. Official authorization of these shots is expected this weekend. The CDC's vaccine advisors are meeting today and tomorrow. So we reached out to local experts to find out what that means for you and also what a vaccine rollout could look like in our community. ABC Action News reporter Larissa Scott joins us live now in Tampa to break down what's expected to happen next. Good morning, Larissa. Hi, good morning to you. Today's meeting kicks off the final step in this process. If the vaccines get authorized, young children could get shots as early as next week. They looked at all of the safety information from the clinical trials in this age group of kids. The nation's top health officials have been pouring over data from Pfizer and Moderna on their COVID-19 vaccines for infants, toddlers, and young children. So it wasn't anything unexpected that had come up from the, the trials at all. The Pfizer vaccine is one-tenth of the adult dose. Pfizer is offering a three-dose series for children six months to four years old. The Moderna vaccine is a quarter of the adult dose and will require two shots for children six months to five years old. The FDA's vaccine advisor said both brands appear to be safe and effective and voted in favor of authorizing them earlier this week. But the safety studies, the efficacy studies in the, in the small clinical trials that have been done look pretty similar. Now it's the CDC's turn to take a look with the advisory committee meeting Friday and Saturday. Shots can't be distributed until the CDC's vaccine advisors review the data and vote. Then the CDC's director has to sign off on it before it's official. And they have a subcommittee that determines the usage of the vaccines. And so that subcommittee would look at how to use those vaccines in these infants and children. The CDC vote on the vaccines is scheduled for Saturday at 1230. If given the green light, the White House says shots will be distributed soon after. I imagine that the pediatric formulations will be produced pretty quickly. But there will likely be a delay for parents in Florida trying to get the shot for their kids since Florida is the only state that did not pre-order any of these vaccines. State officials say it's now up to individual doctors' offices and pharmacies to make their own orders. That means availability won't be immediately widespread. I don't think we're really going to know how much of an impact that this is going to have, but you know, certainly if it hasn't been pre-ordered, do I think on day one, does that mean people are going to be, there, there's going to be some people who are not going to be able to get it. And we reached out to several local facilities. Hospitals tell us they're trying to figure out how to get those shots as soon as possible if they're authorized. This is today's CDC meeting starts at 10 o'clock. And we'll, of course, continue to keep you updated on this story on ABCActionNews.com. I'm live in Tampa this morning. Larissa Scott, ABC Action News.